Today, I will be showing you guys how to install and use Bungie Guard. Now, you guys know I hate to waste your time, so let's get right into this video. I'm just gonna briefly explain what Bungie Guard is. Bungie Cord is like a wall, basically. It makes it so a player cannot enter the server without using the front door. They can't climb in through any windows, they can't take a back door, they can't go through the ceiling, they need to enter the server using the front door, which would be the proxy's IP. So if the proxy's IP is this, Without using this IP, a player cannot enter the server. I will show you guys how that looks like later. This is extremely useful if you're using like things like Cracked Minecraft, where you want your authenticator to be like on that hub server. So all the players pass through that first initial authentication before entering any of the sub servers like Hunger Games, Survival Games, Bed Wars, etc. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and download Bungie Guard. It's in the description, so you guys can quickly just press that link. It'll download. It's very lightweight. It's pretty easy to use. The next thing you want to do is take Bungie Guard, go into the file manager of your server and click on plugins and install Bungie Guard into the plugins folder. Now, when it's installed, all you have to do is restart the server. Next thing you want to do is go to your other sub servers like your lobby. It could be Bed Wars. It could be Hunger Games. It could be anything and click file manager. Go into the plugins folder and put bungee guard into your plugins folder as well if you're not using revive node i honestly do not know what you're waiting for you need to use revive node right now click the link in my description guys revive node is what it is it is that's it i'm not going to lie to you guys it doesn't get any better than that why would i lie to you guys what do i benefit from telling you guys lies literally nothing <laughs> so just click the link on the description get with revive note and if you want to use the code shui for 15 percent off your purchase let's get back into the video after you've done that to both servers you need to restart the server after now that proxy has been restarted it should create a folder and we'll just reload the page so that folder can actually show bungee guard you click on the folder you click on the token.yml now this token is a token that is specific to your server and your server alone nobody on earth has this token and it shouldn't be shown outside your server at all keep this secret don't show anybody the proxy will give you the token and then you need to take that token and go into your other servers your sub servers and as you can see the lobby server has created a bungee guard folder i will click on this folder and i will go into the config.yml file the next thing I want to do is delete this line here because you don't need it, honestly. And then as you can see, the token generated by the proxy goes here. So copy all of this and just simply paste the token inside. Now, that's literally all you have to do. You can configure this to say something else. You can change this to say anything you want to say. I can be like, sorry, you're not supposed to have access to this server's IP go away stinky there we go so sorry you're not supposed to have access to the server's ip go away stinky next thing you want to do is click save restart your servers once more and you should be good to go i forgot one thing in your config.yml file you need to go into your server and you need to make sure you have ip forward enabled so just you can just search up ip find ip forward and make sure that is set to true ip forward needs to be set to true we're gonna get the proxy's ip which is this i'm gonna copy this into my console i already have it there refresh i'm gonna join the proxy and look i joined the server successfully now we're gonna try and join the lobby server and not the proxy server and try and get in through the back end and we're gonna see what happens i'm just gonna input the ip here and as you can see sorry you're not supposed to have access to the server's ip go away stinky so that's literally how bungee guard works it makes it so i am forced to join with the proxy ip so i can enter maybe that hub server or that lobby server so i cannot access any of the backend servers without going through that first point of authentication thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys subscribe and like right now if you want more plugin based content just like this if you have any plugin suggestions or you want me to make a video on any plugins make sure you guys leave a comment down below and i will see what i can do for you subscribe right now